ringside, ready to go. Awaiting round one of this WBC featherweight championship fight, Jeff Fennick, with the crowd doing the wave, American style, for their champion. And Miguel Clancy, we've learned a lot about Jeff Fennick here so far in our program. We haven't learned much about Tyrone Downs. He is ranked number one in the world. He had to wait patiently while Victor Kaleos got his opportunity. What do you think of his chances? Well, Tim, he's a well-schooled fighter, quick hands and quick feet. But my problem with Tyrone Downs is he only weighed 123 pounds this morning at the weigh-in, and he's in with the strongest featherweight in the world. I think it's too much to give away. And yet he's been a very confident young man, even about making the trip halfway across the world to try for a world title, as we found out. Well, I never, I never was thinking I would ever come so far. I was looking for this fight to be back home, but unfortunately, I had to be here. So I had to accept it as it come. Uh, Tyrone, I know you've seen tapes of Jeff Fennick. Uh, what do you think of him as a fighter? Fennick is a very strong puncher, a very strong guy. I, I am strong too, and you know, I am a puncher also. Fennick, the kind of guy you like to fight, a guy that walks in, a tough guy? The best that he has is tailor-made for me because he's just coming like a robot, just throwing hands. Plus I, am a, plus, I am a boxer. I'm a great mover. So you see, he was tailor-made for me. Well, here comes Tyrone Downs. Uh, he's in the ring, just stepping through the ropes now. And uh, as we commented, he's been a very confident, calm young man. He's trained tremendously well, Gil. Uh, watching him in training, he's in superb condition. Maybe, as you've indicated, maybe he's trained down a little too lean for this bout. But he feels that, uh, as he said in your interview, that uh, this champion, Jeff Fennick, is made to order for him. Well, that remains to be seen, of course. But mental uh, ability often has a lot to do with a fighter's chances, so we'll find out if it means something for Tyrone Downs. The moments ago in the dressing room of the champion, Jeff Fennick, something a little bit unusual, but he's an unusual man, as you have seen earlier. This is a ritual uh, pregame huddle, if you will, the Newtown Police Citizens Boys Club. That's the boxing club in Sydney where he trains under his trainer, Johnny Lewis. These are some of his stable mates over there, and they all join him before the fights and give him that last little word of encouragement as part of a superstition, if you will, and has become part of his pre-fight ritual. And here with more than 14,000 fans in this beautiful right. National That's Tennis Center, the champion Jeff Fennick. Perhaps the biggest thing to happen to boxing in Australian boxing history is about to make his entrance, and the crowd here knows it. National Tennis Center in Melbourne, Australia, ready for the WBC Featherweight Championship bout. Let's go up to the ring announcer, Ray Conley, for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, with genuine pride, Bill Morty's Classic Promotions presents the World Boxing Council Featherweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds. Referee Steve Crossan hailing from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Presenting the principals from the red corner, scaling 55.9 kilograms, 
originally of St. Joseph's Barbados, now campaigning out of Port of Spain, Trinidad, 28 victories in 33 professional bouts, 10 inside the distance, leading contender, orchestrating tensility of quality, gloved scorpion, challenger, Uh, we're likely to hear from the uh, lips of one Ray Connolly, who may have more time in the ring than the challenger Tyrone Downs, if you believe the odds makers. But uh, from Downs' point of view, uh, he expects to be around for a while and perhaps win this fight on points. 123 pounds is still the questionable statistics surrounding the challenger downs. 125 and three quarters for the champion Jeff Fennick. That was at weigh-in time. You know, Tim, I, I spoke to Jeff Fennick a couple of hours ago. He was testing the ring. I said, uh, Jeff, what do you weigh now? Well, first I said to him, I said, Jeff, I think you're going to have another weigh-in. He says, you better get me Marvin Hagler. <laughs> I says, what do you weigh now? He says, probably about 134. So you're going to see a big disparity in size and strength in this fight. So he's really a lightweight now. Of course, Downs would have picked up a couple of pounds himself since the weigh-in this morning, but uh, not nearly as much as the broad-shouldered Jeff Bennett. You can see that good lateral movement of Downs already, and he's going to need every bit of that. Referee is Steve Crossan, three American judges, Tony Castellano from New York, Albie Shirley from Las Vegas, Tommaso Tomihara from Hawaii. You know, Downs has described uh, Fennec as a robot. He says he walks right in like a robot. And that's a pretty good description, but he's a very, very strong robot. Downs just made Fennec eat a pretty solid left jab in the last exchange. The champion, 20-0, 17 knockouts. Good right hand by Downs, right on the button, Tim, but nothing happened. That's that strength factor. 28-5 and five with just 10 knockouts. But he's just managed break, to land three break. consecutive good shots, point. and there may be a cut. Box. We might have a cut over. We do over we the do. left eye of the champion, Jeff Bennett. And it oh, came box, from box, a blow. Box, it box, came from box. a good straight right hand by by Downs. Box. Well, you, that's the thing. You never know. And he lands a right right on the cut. Now Bennett picks up his pace. He knows the blood is flowing. We're in round one, scheduled for 12. And the blood is dripping out of that eye, Tim. Bad cut. Fennec has never been in this kind of trouble early in his pro career. He was knocked down once in round one, came back to win that fight. Right, 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 no punches, no fighters. Then that is an angry cut, and another right hand, right on that cut by Tyrone Downs. It was a time. Look at that strength of Fennec, Tim. He picked, 
pick downs right up off the ground and turned him around. But he's going to have to do it and do it quickly. And he got nailed with another right hand on the cut. And Downs intelligently tying up Fennec after he landed that good blow to the injured area. Fennec now storming after Downs, but Downs again ties him up. Took a lot of his power weights in with that move to the right, Downs did. Lateral movement. Downs trying that overhand right lead, missed everything. Under 30 seconds we go in the first round. See that speed of foot Tyrone Downs has. Final seconds of round one. Well, let's uh, take a look and see if we can see when that butt occurred in round one. Round number two. Scheduled for 12, the champion Jeff Bennett with a cut at the corner of his left eye. Bennett racing after Downs, and the cut is bleeding already. Stop, 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 stop. Tyrone, don't hold behind the head. Warning to Tyrone Downs from referee Steve Crossan about holding behind the head. And the break, blood break, is break. pouring Stop. out of Stop. Jeff Fennick's eye. And look at Fennick wrestle him and toss him around again like a rag doll. But that isn't going to get it done. No, Tim, he's going to have to land some solid punches. And Downs is an elusive target. John Downs has effectively smothered the bulldoze style break, of break, Fennick break, in the break, early break. going here. Response, and Tim, he man. knows that that eye is wide open and he's looking to make it a target. That's for sure. And you see that lateral movement bothering Fennick. Has never been in trouble like this in his young pro career, unbeaten in 20 bouts, putting 17 of his opponents away. This stop, is a stop, stop. new Don't forum, forum. Here. a new okay, situation. More than 14,000 anxious fans of the Australian stop, no punches, no punches. here at the Melbourne National Tennis Center. Tim, when the doctor came up to look at the uh, that Fennec's cut, his second was smart enough not to stay. He, he got in the break, way break, of the doctor. Back, he would not allow the doctor to take a good look at the cut, Fox. which is a, a shrewd thing for a corner man to do. Trainer Johnny Lewis is also the cut man for Fennec, and he's break, had to go to work early here. Break, break. Well, Tim, sometimes it takes a round for the medicine to take hold. Maybe if, if the fight goes another round or two, we may be able to control that cut. But he's not controlling it now, and he got nailed with a good left hook. Downs willing to go with it. And Downs backed him up, Tim. Backed him up to the step ropes. Back. Both men, take a step. Under a minute to go in round two. Fennec trying to uppercut there because Downs has him smothered. An intelligent boxing strategy stop, stop, thus far by the lighter challenger, Tyrone Downs. Stop. And again, he said that Fennec walks in like a robot. Fennec walked break. right in, and he Step nailed Fennec again. With a straight right hand You watch Fennec walk straight in. After 30 seconds, we go in round two. Down just leaning on Fennec there. Fennec unable to find punching room, and now referee cross him again, warning Downs for holding, not breaking when he's told. A short chopping right by Fennec, not too much on it, but it landed. We're in the final seconds of round two. No, no punches. Step back. Full step back. Time. Quarter, Jeff. Fight. Round number three of the stop, WBC stop, stop, featherweight stop. belt. You saw Fennec again showing his muscle, but again, you don't score points with that. Tim, again, the doctor came up to look at the cut. Fight. Johnny right, Lewis, he, ke he kept the gauze fed on the cut. He did not allow the doctor to look at the cut. He just told him it was okay. And it is a very, very angry cut. Shrewd corner man, that's Johnny Lewis. Into round number three. Benick has only been in trouble once in his 24 bouts. Down in round one against San Martin. Room, got off the floor and stopped the tie fighter in the fourth round to win the WBC Super Bantamweight title. Three consecutive unanswered shots. Right. Clean break. No punches. Don't hold, man. 
sense a little early desperation here by Fennec. He's, he's shaking. He's shaking Dallas now with those punches, though. The strength of them, the pure strength of the man is what's doing. It's not fancy, not pretty. Break, 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 break. Step. But he beats you up. Box. Here, Jeff. Here's Steve Cross and warning Pinnock this time for holding and hitting. Downs right. has completely right. forgotten his fight Get plan. He's trying to fight Pinnock now. He got a little courage from that cut. Pinnock landed a blow go. to the arm and then pushed no knockout. Knocked knocked down down. as he came off the rope, so it is not a knockdown. Good call by Steve Cross and Tim. He's a good, solid referee. You can see the downs now. is starting to look for excuses. Stop fighting. And it just missed with a big right hand. Downs trying to tie him up here. And now Bennett gets a warning for holding and hitting again. Behind the hand. Downs had better get out and start using those legs and those combinations, Tim. He's fighting Fennec's break, fight. Break, clean break, both men. Downs at 30 years of age getting his title opportunity. Opens a cut in round one from the champion Fennec. Right. Right. Now being muscled by the Australian favorite here in Melbourne. Under 30 seconds we go in round three. Just a question of strength, Tim. Yes, and he just landed a good left hand. That shook Downs. Downs willing to trade with him. Tim, this is his chance for a title. He head, is taking his shot. No question about that. Coming to the end of round number three. Get the bucket. Let's go. Let's go. Round number four. Downs a little slow to come off the stool. Look at Fennick manning up. Fennick just manned there. Walks him right across the ring. And Downs landed a big right hand. At all. The cut on Fennec's left eye is just under the eyebrow. All right, now Downs is back trying to use those legs. Lateral mode, but that's what he's going to have to do in this fight if he has any chance at all. Can't stay close to this man, Fennec. <laughs> that's what he has to do, Stan. Nice move over to the side by Tyrone Downs. Here he's trying it again. Good solid jab by Fennec. Well, that time, Fennec did not walk in like a robot. He moved in behind a good left jab. He has Downs in trouble in the corner. Downs trying to find a way out of there. Finally grabs on. But Fennec won't let him move. There he's loose. Fennec is all break, business now, break, Tim. Break. Step back, Tyrone. And Tim, the, the medicine Box. has finally took hold of that cut. It's not bleeding as badly as it was. Tyrone Downs with 33 fights under his belt, but has not been real active. His last fight was last October. The second round stoppage of Felix Guzman. <laughs> Just being manhandled now, though. He was about to send him to the canvas, but somehow down stayed up despite a good combination of the head. Stop, 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 stop. Fennec tried That's to stop. hit him, tried to punch behind his own back. You see everything in boxing, Tim. Fennec picking up his pace. Manhandling, as Bill Clancy described it, downs into the ropes, firing away, and stop, stop, stop. down. Hold his head, Jeff. Just holding on. Fennec who gets the warning. That's what Downs is going to have to do. He's going to have to nail Fennec, get his respect back. Fennec is walking right through him. And he hurt him. He did hurt him, and down he goes. And then Fennec added a knee just to make sure. Downs taking the count, looking at his corner. Gets up a little wearily here. Doesn't look like he round. wants to fight too much more, Tim. Keyed off with a right hand, but missed it, and Fennec is all over him. Shaky legs for Downs. Smart, Tim. Body, arms, head, anything he can hit. 
coming to the end of the fourth round. Just took an elbow. Did Downs, and Downs goes down. The bell is sounded. I don't think the referee heard it. The count continues after the bell, but Downs is up. I believe the round is over. It is. back to his corner looks more exhausted than hurt he's discouraged him he just can't keep this cyclone off him he has nothing to stop him with now a late knockdown by jeff Bennett in the fourth round the count continued after the bell downs made it up and the crowd alive here at the national tennis center but it's not for pat cash it's for jeff Bennett. There's the first knockdown with a little knee as an extra. Yes, it, was a, it was a right to the body and a left knee, Tim. Yeah. Body shot to the belly is the one that sent him down this time. A right to the body, right in the midsection. On the second knockdown. And a discouraged looking Tyrone Downs trying to get it together over in the corner. He had the champion in trouble with a cut in round one, but taken it away from him since then. Another body shot to the ribs. One punch to the body. That's how strong this Jeff Fennick is. Downs is looking to the corner. I don't think he wants to get up from this one. But he does. And he says, yes, I can fight. And the referee crosses it and he starts throwing punches. He liked the fact that the crowd booed when he went down, Tim. Well, it was a hard body shot to the ribs that sent him to the canvas, but now Downs rallying. And a good left hook by Downs. Look at this and rally. A good right hand, Tim. Landed a clean right hand to that cut and opened it up again. And another combination by Downs. Downs. Pounding away. No, stop, and stop, stop, Finnick, stop. no reply. Don't hold his head. Step back, Tyrone. Step back. Well, what a turnaround here, at least well, temporarily. That may have been the last hurrah, though, Tim. He only has so much energy. Now Another body shot. That hurt him. Down he goes again. Oh, Tyrone down five, just can't five, handle those five, body shots, and it is all over. The Downs uh, may have told uh, Steve Grossen that that was enough. Well, he was willing to go after the first one. I came back with a bit of a rally. Well, but then we said we thought that was the last to watch him. Sucked up all the energy, let it all hang out, and that was the end of the ball game. There is his mother, Mary Fennick, the champ's mother, up quickly to ringside to congratulate her unbeaten world champion. Jeff Fennick has won his 21st in a row with 18 stoppages. We'll go back and see how the fight concluded in round number five. Tyrone Downs backing up and a little fearful of that body attack. A rattling right to the body. Here comes another one right to the ribs. And he sags to the canvas here. Referee Crosin stepping in as Benick was about to tee off on him. Let's see that one more time. Right there. Those shots to the body just came him in. And one for good measure when he was on the deck. So Tyrone Downs just did not handle the strength of Jeff Benick. Well, fight fans, uh, stay with us. We've got some uh, remarkable championship action to show you from a contest in Los Angeles two weeks ago. And I had a little bit of everything, including a pair of bizarre happenings, one involving the champion, Miguel Laura, and the other involving the challenger, Albert Davila. Of course, we'll return to talk to our winner, Jeff Benick, right after this. A little scared moment in the first round when you saw that blood streaming down. I just seen the blood go straight to my eye, but you know, I just had to settle down and, and do what champions do. That's just fight on and uh, 
take my time, don't really rush. I just, uh, just hope that the people out there, with the pleasure of CBS, enjoy Jeff Fennick's fight. I'm sure I can fight a lot better than that. And if the people want to see me, I'll keep putting on fights all the time because that's Jeff Fennick. Jeff, uh, once you had the cut, did it change your strategy some? I mean, did you become a little more impatient, if you will, to try and get the guy out of there? No, uh, I know that my trainer's very good at controlling the cuts, and he told me that as long as I just work up for my jab and get the jab working and hit him with a hard jab and then bring body punches into play, uh, we'd be able to get out of there really. So uh, I just tried to, to settle down. There's a few anxious moments here that I got a little bit carried away. Uh, he kept holding me, and uh, I don't really like getting uh, held. Frustrating. Like, yeah, it was a bit frustrating. I like to, to really... Uh, give action for money. I think the people here loved it today, and that's how I feel. Well, you certainly did give action for money because uh, in the fifth round, your physical superiority just proved to be too much. When you knock a man down with body shots, that means you're the stronger guy. Yeah, uh, I've worked very hard on my strength, and uh, I've trained for a, a good three and a half months for this fight. I've had one sore hand, but uh, blessed today it was uh, all right, and I know that uh, there's one person out there today, my dad, who uh, isn't here today. Uh, he's very proud of me at the moment. Jeff, I know that uh, there's been talk about you uh, being on the Lalonde Leonard card, and I'm sure fans want to know what's next for you. What, what would you like to do next? You've now made a national network television debut in the U.S. Well, hopefully it was a good one, but yes, I'd love to uh, go to the States. And uh, I've been reading a lot of the American books, and they're uh, lacking an action fighter at the moment, so hopefully I can get over there and, and really give them what they love. Oh, I love fighting, and if anybody out there... They uh, can give me a good fight. I'd be delighted to fight for CBS in the States, in Australia, anywhere, just to, to let the people see a real great fight. 130 pounds certainly seems within reach for you. That would be four titles, and there are some big-name guys there like McGuigan and Nelson. Well, definitely, that's my, my ultimate dream, was to win four world, title, four world titles and be the first, but Thomas Hearn's done that, so yeah, I'll have to just... Uh, uh, slowly win a few more featherweight fights and then go up and make it number four. All right, well, good luck to you. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, having a chance to introduce you. I know this is your friend Con over here, and he's got to be a happy guy right now. So the two of you go and enjoy uh, the rest of this evening with your family. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Jeff Fennick defending his WBC featherweight championship for the first time, and uh, certainly there is much more ahead for this young man who rallied from a cut eye in the first round to physically overpower Tyrone Downs. Let's go to Pat O'Brien with a very proud lady in the champion Jeff Fennick's life, his mother, Mary Fennick. There were some anxious moments for you there, Mrs. Fennick. Yes, it was. I was very worried about Jeffrey, but thank God he came forward and he done his job pretty well again. We've heard and talked so much about his childhood, about the neighborhoods and everything. What kind of a boy was Jeff Fennick? Well, it wasn't the boy exactly the people described my son was. That's all I can say this moment. He was a good boy. Well, he wasn't a very good boy, but he wasn't the boy they described him either. And today you're a very proud mother. I'm very, very proud of my son. Congratulations and thanks for joining us. Well, you know, this has been a most unusual summer for boxing. We were in Atlantic City two weeks ago to see one title fight stopped by a low blow and another by a knockout punch delivered after the bell. That one's hard to top, a 2.5.